Hi friends, welcome to my channel Med Time with Dr. Munir Jan. In my previous video, I discussed about what is breath stacking, what is gas trapping, and what is auto peep. In this video, I will be discussing how to deal or solve this problem of breath stacking, gas trapping, and auto peep. So let's begin. <music> Now, how we can deal, how we can solve this problem when a patient is on mechanical ventilation? Now, first, if the patient is on volume control ventilation, what are the things that you can do in order to get rid of this autopy? First important thing, the respiratory rate. Now, respiratory rate, if you decrease the respiratory rate, obviously you are, uh, you know, increasing the time for the expiration. The triggering, the triggering will take more time and you are, you are, hence you are increasing the time for the expiration. Now, if the patient is on, is having the efforts, is taking the respiratory efforts, the ventilator is giving the triggered, you know, the assist breaths are also being provided. In these situations where the patient is having some efforts, patient is triggering the ventilator also, by decreasing the respiratory rate, you will not solve the problem of the auto peep or gas trapping. Now, in this situation, what you can do, you can increase the threshold for the triggering either the flow or the pressure threshold can be increased or simply you can put the patient on the complete paralysis by that you can achieve the you can get rid of this auto peep that is happening now the second important thing in volume control ventilation you can decrease the volume also by decreasing the volume what is happening by decreasing the volume you are giving less volume to the patient and the less time will be required to deliver this uh, this much uh, tidal volume to the patient so you are decreasing the inspiratory time and hence increasing the expiratory time okay so by decreasing the tidal volume you can decrease the inspiratory time you can increase the expiratory time and by somehow, by well, to some extent, you can get rid of this auto peep that is happening. Now, the third thing what you can do, you can increase the flow. Okay, why in by increasing the flow, what will happen? The amount that you have set in the volume control ventilation, the tidal volume, it will be delivered quickly. Once it will be delivered quickly, the inspiratory time will be decreased. When inspiratory time will be decreased, naturally the expiratory time, expiratory time will be increased and to some extent you can get rid of this auto peep gas trapping what is happening in the patient. Now this is the solutions in the patients where the patient is on volume control ventilation. Okay. Now, talking about the pressure control modes, we have pressure control modes like pressure control ventilation and pressure support ventilation. Okay, So, I will be discussing these two modes. In first, that is the pressure control ventilation, what you can do to get rid of this auto peep. Now, first important thing what you can do, you can decrease the respiratory rate, same as that of the volume control ventilation, you can decrease the respiratory rate by that, but provided the patient is not triggering the ventilator or you are increasing or you can do, if the patient is triggering, you can do, you can increase the, you can increase the threshold for the triggering also. Now, the second, you can decrease the proximal airway pressure. Now, with this, what you are giving the proximal airway pressure, that is the pressure, targeted pressure, you can decrease that. By decreasing the pressure, what will happen to the tidal volume? Tidal volume will be decreased. Now, when the tidal volume will be decreased, the effect of this breath stacking, the effect of this, you know, or, uh, as a result of this uh, gas trapping, what is happening will be minimized one thing about the pressure control ventilation we have inspiratory time the time it is time cycled okay so the time cycle you can decrease the inspiratory time by that you will increase the expiratory time also okay so in pressure control ventilation either 
you can decrease the proximal airway pressure you can decrease the inspiratory time also and uh, you can increase the you can decrease the respiratory rate and you can increase the threshold for the triggering also now to the pressure support ventilation in pressure support ventilation flow it is flow cycled okay now to decrease the inspiratory time you will increase the threshold for cycling okay for example normally what we keep we keep 25 percent that means when the when the peak inspiratory flow falls to the 25 percent then the cycling happens okay so why increasing the threshold from 25 to 35 percent now when the flow decreases from 100 to 35 percent cycling will happen so by this you will decrease the inspiratory time also now by decreasing the inspiratory time you will increase the expiratory time also now the third now the second thing what you can do in this pressure support you know uh, ventilation you can simply decrease the decrease the proximal airway pressure now with this decrease in the proximal airway pressure what will happen lower tidal volumes will be generated when lower tidal volumes will be generated so, uh, you know the consequence will be like the effect of this gas trapping effect will be minimized by this you can get rid by this you can at least decrease the effect of this auto peep that is happening as a result of uh, this gas trapping if I have to show it practically, you can see the flow time graph. The expiratory flow curve is not touching the baseline. And before uh, you know, it touches the baseline, the subsequent breath is delivered. So the subsequent breath is delivered before the expiratory flow curve touches the baseline. That's what is known as the breath stacking. And as a result of this, gas trapping and auto peep is happening so if you do the manipulations you can see the expiratory flow curve should touch the baseline as shown here thanks for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel med time with dr munir jan you can follow me on instagram you can follow me on facebook by the name dr.munir.jan thank you very much